Welcome to the video tutorial on how to create a mesh network with Ingenious access points. These are the two devices in this video, however you can create a mesh network with more devices. You set up each access point as follows. I connect a computer to an access point named AP1 using an Ethernet cable. On my Windows computer, I set up a static IP address as above. The default IP address of the Ingenious access point is 192.168.1.1. You open any browser and access Ingenious using the default IP address. The default username and default password are both admin. Before setting up a mesh network on each access point, set up the wireless network as follows. You set up fixed channels on each band. I set up the access points to use the same channel on the same band to ensure a link is created between them. In this case I set up channel 1 on the 2.4G band and set up channel 161 on the 5G band. I use the 5G band to create links between access points and use the 2.4G band for internet access devices such as phones computers or tablets. I recommend that you set up the same wireless network name and wireless network security on all ingenious access points. After completing the wireless setup, Go to Mesh Network Setup as follows. In a Mesh Network you choose an access point to be the Mesh Root. This device will connect to the Internet. Other access points will reach the Internet through the Root Node. In this case I use an access point named AP1 as Root. So I set up this device as Mesh AP. Additionally, you can create your own mesh ID or mesh password if you want. But to connect access points you need to set the same mesh ID and mesh password on all of them. After completing the setup on the AP1 I connected the computer to AP2 using an Ethernet cable. Please note that you need to set a static IP address for your Windows computer to connect to AP2. I use any browser to access the AP2 access point the same way as on AP1. Like on AP1, I set up wireless on AP2. I will set up the wireless on AP2 the same as on AP1. Because mesh networks require access points to use the same channel on each band. I use channel 1 on the 2.4G band and channel 161 on the 5G band like the setup on the AP1. Because I use the 5G band to connect the access points, I only create a new wireless network on the 2.4G band. I created a new wireless network on AP2 like on AP1. As you can see the wireless settings on AP2 are the same as on AP1. But there will be a difference when setting up the mesh on AP2 compared to AP1. Unlike on AP1, on AP2 I set up the device to operate in mesh point mode. In a mesh network, there is only one device operating in mesh AP mode. Other access points operate in mesh point mode. In this case AP1 is mesh AP and AP2 is mesh point. If you add a new access point, it will operate in mesh point mode like AP2. You ensure all access points have the same mesh ID and mesh password. This is the connection of the access points. AP1 connects to the Internet Gateway using an Ethernet cable. But AP2 doesn't have an Ethernet cable connection because it connects to AP1 on the 5G band so it doesn't use a cable. On my Windows computer, I connected to the newly created mesh network. The connection is successful, 
I will check the mesh connection between the devices as follows. Because the IP addresses of the access points are allocated by the DHCP server, I use a scanning software like above. These are the IP addresses of AP1 and AP2 assigned by the DHCP server on my router. I accessed each access point and checked the mesh connection status. This access point operates in mesh node mode so this is AP2. It connects to AP1 on the 5G band using channel 161. Thus, the remaining access point operates in root mode. This access point is AP1 and it is cabled to the Internet Gateway. On the Ingenious access point you can define the functions and tasks of each node. Additionally, you can know the link status between nodes. I would love to be able to know the connection bandwidth between nodes to know whether the connections between them are good or not. Above is how to create a mesh network with ingenious access points. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll review what I've set up on AP1 and AP2 with a summary as above. As you can see the settings are the same across the access points. You just need to choose an access point and set it up to work in root mode. Root access point connects to Internet Gateway. The remaining access points operate in mesh point mode. I assume you have an additional access point called AP3, then it is set up the same as AP2. Good luck.